Hi beautiful people, in today's video I am going to share with you 10 things I am looking forward to after quarantine. Of course, whenever that is and if things are even safe. I might look a little bit weird, a little bit more fresh faced. I promise you that I'm not. I hardly slept last night, but I had to go out today. I have my brows in, I have some concealer on, and I did put on a lip product because, man, my face need some color to it. I did do a video about what life would be like after quarantine or what life will be like. It was another quarantine diaries video like this one is going to be. I honestly can't remember everything that I said in that video but of course it was along the lines of when is quarantine ever gonna end? It seems like every time I learn about quarantine or learn about this pandemic variants, what's up with that? So the first thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is, of course, reuniting with my husband. Since quarantine has been going on for over a year and I don't see it ending anytime soon, my husband and I will have missed two wedding or marriage anniversaries. We're pretty much newlyweds. We barely spent time together after we got married. After we got married, I flew to Germany and I spent time with him and his family. And then again, before quarantine. So at least it wasn't like we got married and then had to separate but we have never in our entire relationship celebrated one anniversary like a yearly one so the fact that we're still missing yearly ones and we already will miss two wedding anniversaries it pretty much sucks the second thing that i'm looking forward to after quarantine is dining at restaurants I have already gone out three times so far in the past two months with my family members and we had dinner. It still just feels a little bit weird to go back to normal just a little bit. But I love food, I love going out to eat, and I love trying new foods. I guess if it weren't for quarantine, I would have never discovered so many different restaurants. So I would love to actually go to these restaurants, sit down and enjoy myself and enjoy my company. And the best thing about going out is that I don't have to cook or clean. The third thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is traveling again. I would really like to go to some other countries in Europe maybe some states in the US since it's so freaking big over here and just to be able to go swimming in a hotel pool or even pool facilities or maybe even go to the beach I am not really a beach person anymore I used to be I used to go to the beach all the time with my family but I don't know when that stopped it probably started when I realized I have a phobia for open water. I also have a phobia of looking up at the sky because it's too vast, you know what I'm saying? But the swimming part, I love swimming. I know I talked more about swimming than traveling so I could have made that into a point but I mean when I travel that's when I go swimming. Germany has many pool facilities and I've been to I think three so far and I really enjoyed all three of those so it would be really nice. Wait a minute, I take that back. I don't ever want to go to Europe during the summer. They don't have ACs, okay? Such an American thing, I know, but I am spoiled and I love ACs. Also because of climate change, Europe and their heat wave without ACs is insane. And so many places don't even have fans, so I don't know what to say. But I love traveling and of course with traveling I get to eat as well, so those get me super excited when I think about them. The fourth thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is possibly anything to do with bettering my YouTube channel like with new content or fresh content or maybe starting a new career like an actual career just because I might move or things will just be you know different. You'll be in a different state of mind because now everything is open and you can go out, you can enjoy yourself, you can be happy. I'm not really that much of a creative person when I'm restricted to, you know, one environment. Of course, when you have the opportunity to do different things, you feel more creative and you feel more inspired. After this, I think I want to see a career counselor or I don't even know, a career coach maybe. Or I can even continue with YouTube and really take it more seriously, turn it more into the business that 
it should be I should get paid for all of the work that I put into I'm not saying that I do a lot of work I'm just saying it is work and I should get paid for it so yeah I don't really know but I am looking forward to at least seeing some change with what I do career-wise. The fifth thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is shopping in person to actually see, feel, and try the things. I definitely want a camera but I don't know which one and I don't know when I want to get it. It's expensive and I don't have the funds but it's a nice thought, you know? And I am in the market for a new desk and a chair. This chair is not bad but the pleather rubbed off and there are like pleather pieces all over my floor every single day and as for my desk I would like a standing one since I spend 24 7 at my desk I tend to you know ache a lot so I don't know everything costs money money I don't have but at least if I could go out and shop I can actually see the things so that I would get an idea of what I like and what I would like to get in the future but also with clothes, I mean, there's just something about going into the store, looking at the clothes, feeling the clothes, trying the clothes on, seeing them on your body. And I'm at this point in my life where I'm too old to really care that much about what I look like. But I want to get back into shopping and buying things for my body. I have a pretty good fashion sense. I'm very, I want to say conservative, but more on the uh, classic side. I like to, well, when you think about Banana Republic, that's basically what clothes I like, the fashion that I like. And when I was shopping for all of these things, when I started going to college and I had jobs working with kids, I dressed up really nicely and I would just like to have that experience again in the fitting room. The sixth thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is getting some sun. Instead of getting the sun indirectly from my window, of course I'm very grateful that I have a window now in my room where I can get all this beautiful natural daylight, especially now that it's getting closer to the summer months. Even though with climate change, summer is definitely here already and it's going to be a lot longer than all of the other years prior. But getting out there, you just can't beat it. There's nothing that compares to getting out of the house, taking a walk, and having the sun just touch your skin. Like a nice gentle kiss. Or of course, if it's like today, like 80 something degrees, a nice burn. It feels so good though to have the sun on your skin, to walk around, to feel the earth under your feet, to reconnect with nature and because I never have my phone out when I'm out I get to look all around I get to look up close I get to look near I get to look far I get to look really far so I'm resetting my eyes after being indoors for this long and I had that opportunity today because I had to run errands and I was really happy like it felt really weird to be out but at the same time like outside never really changed it's just different because you know I've been caged this entire time so it felt really good to just get out and have that but of course nothing is 100% safe yet so I am really looking forward to being able to get out like whenever I want to so that's definitely one of the things that I'm most excited about because it doesn't require you know like traveling or something I just would be able to leave the seventh thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is living life differently because I learned to not only appreciate the things in life but also to really pay attention to them. How many of us actually pay attention to the things that we have and love? Because of quarantine, I learned that I have to slow things down. Time has flown by so fast. I'm pretty sure you all have noticed that. Like how did we make it to over a year? Of quarantine this fast and I'm really working on paying attention to the things that I have really taking the time to enjoy the things that I enjoy so much like watching things playing games cooking to just slow down and appreciate the moments and how many of us say that we love our relatives and friends but we don't actually really pay attention to them they're there but are you 
looking at them? Are you hearing them? Are you listening to them? Are you taking the time to have conversations with them? So I know this is like kind of weird because this is not something that you, you know, have to do after quarantine, but because quarantine is going on for so long, there are still so many lessons to learn. And when it all ends, I mean, you're not really going to be trapped in one place with your family and our friends. So it's really important to just take the time to appreciate them when you have them now and appreciate all the things that you were able to do because of quarantine in quarantine that you might not have the opportunity to do when everything reopens. The eighth thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is having conversations, seeing people again to just talk. When I went out to dinner with my family, it got us out of the house. It made us have to look at each other. It made us have to talk to each other and ask each other, what do you want to eat? Is that a plane? I've been hearing a lot of planes lately. It's a good and bad thing. At least it gives me hope that things are getting better. And then when I went out to dinner with my cousin, I mean, wow, we talked for three or four hours straight, I think. It was great. I was really surprised that I talked pretty much the entire time. I normally don't talk that much when I go out, especially because the more I talk, the slower I eat and I'm already a very slow eater. But it felt really nice to have a conversation about just different things. I mean, sure, we ended up talking about ourselves. I mean, we always talk about ourselves, but you know what I'm saying, like just different things and getting somebody else's story instead of always being drowned in your own, ranting about it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing my husband's friends and his family members and just having conversations and I really want to be more open with talking. Oh god, especially when I go to Germany again and I will maybe flex some German. I don't know. My German's kind of funny. The ninth thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is feeling less fatigued because you're not restricted to being at home all the time. You already know when you're at home all the time, you're not going out, you are not necessarily sticking to a schedule unless of course you have a normal job or something. It throws off your circadian rhythm. You're not waking up with the sun and you're not sleeping when the sun is down. So when you get sun, it helps you reset. When you go out, it just tires you out so much that at the end of the day, all you want to do is sleep. I hate feeling like this. I feel groggy all the time. I feel very cranky. I snap very easily. And I know all these things and I'm so conscious of them, but I just can't help it because I don't know, you know, quarantine just did it to you. So that's why I try not to blame myself that much. But when I get out of hand, that's when I'm like, whoa, 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 reel it back. Like everybody is struggling, not just you. And lastly, the 10th thing that I'm looking forward to after quarantine is spending a lot less time on the computer, on my phone, and social media. I know that's how we've been staying connected for this entire time, but you guys know that it's healthy to put all of that down, put it away, and just get back to reality and reconnect with reality. Reconnect and connect with the people in your life, looking at things with your eyes, and not at screens all the time. This is also a reason why whenever I traveled, I was so inconsistent with my uploading schedule. Most of the time I only uploaded once a week because I was enjoying myself. I was traveling, I was with my husband, I was with his friends, I was with his family. We were going out, we were doing a lot of things. And even when we weren't doing things and we just stayed back at the apartment, it just felt so nice to not be home for once to be so far away from home, to be more independent, feel like an adult-ish, and just not have any obligations to the screen or on the computer. I guess that's one of the downsides of being on social media or having a remote job. Like you can work wherever you want in the world, but that means you can work anywhere in the world. So when you go on vacation, it's like you could still work when you're on vacation. I'm definitely gonna be better in the future when I travel. I wanna at least adhere to my two videos per week upload schedule. So I really hope that's gonna happen. But if I don't and I only do one, it's only because all I ever do when I'm back at home and not traveling is this. I do this all the time. Let me know in the comments down below what you're looking forward to after quarantine. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here and hopefully I will see you in any of these videos next.